Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, a little bit windy day here in paradise in the Point Lonesome Landfill in the Oasis of Freedom uh, on this lovely Monday morning. I think it's November 29th. 2021 and another week begins and uh, good lord what's it going to be today in the chronicle of the collapse I love going uh, sorry about this wind I hope to hell that this video is not entirely ruined and if this damn battery craps out on me again uh, I'm I'm not going to start this rant over. So, <coughs> on the mainstream media, and I absolutely love to see that the number one story on the planet is, of course, you know what, but of course it's saying the you know what was not doomsday. That all of this freak out, this completely over the top bullshit freak out over the last few days over nothing but anyway what a surprise but digging a little deeper here in good old USA Today good for USA Today uh, <coughs> this article uh, by a fellow named Marvin Berman uh, Marvin is uh, looks like a nice guy. What is Mar Marvin Berman is the founder of Ocean Hero, the eco-friendly eco-friendly search engine that provides funding for ocean-bound plastic waste cleanup and recycling infrastructure development. So he sounds like the man who knows what he's talking about. And uh, he's going to share some dirty laundry uh, from the uh, bullshit recycling, uh, particularly plastic recycling industry. <clears throat> Take it away. Marvin Berman, and I'm going to put the link on here in case this battery runs out. Uh, I'm going to put the link and you can just take over from here. All right, your plastic recyclables, your plastic recyclables are getting shipped overseas, not made into shiny new products. Yes, <clears throat> the recycling industry is drowning in secrets that put our oceans and the Earth's future at risk. When I started a social enterprise to keep plastic out of oceans, I was horrified to encounter a tsunami of dirty details in an industry ostensibly focused on cleanliness. It's a good time to take a deep dive into three secrets about this green industry's black underbelly. We dramatically underestimate how much ocean-bound plastic waste we generate. Research shows recycling has not slowed the deluge of plastic pouring into the oceans. That's partly because only 9% of the plastic produced ever gets recycled. Scientists estimate at least 8 million tons of plastic enters the ocean annually. If we continue on this path, meaning on this path, and if the path just stays on the trajectory he's on and doesn't, you know, go up exponentially, just on the path we're on, by 2025, we will be adding more than 17 million tons every year. The United States is one of the worst offenders 
but how can this be when almost all Americans say they support recycling? <clears throat> well, number one, you're not actually recycling. There you go. When you toss a plastic bottle into your recycling bin, a plastic bottle into your recycling bin, you may envision it carted off to a shiny factory where an expert team efficiently breaks it down and turns it into something new. But the truth is far from shiny. It is downright grungy. Historically, at least half of the plastic you thought you recycled never made it to your local recycling center. It got shipped overseas. The U.S. ships a million tons of plastic waste overseas every year. Starting in the 90s, the U.S. shipped plastic waste to China, where the most useful items might actually be recycled. However, much of it got dumped into rivers, which carry the plastic into the ocean. China banned these imports, you know, from the U.S. in 2018. So then the U.S. started shipping plastic waste to countries even less capable of handling it than China. Plastic floods poor countries. A lack of global plastic waste regulations means plastic dumping in impoverished countries goes unchecked. In places like Manila in the Philippines, some streets literally overflow with plastic. <clears throat> These areas don't have local infrastructure to manage their own plastic waste problem, let alone imported trash so plastic gushes into streams, then rivers, and oceans. An extensive investigation by The Guardian found the developing countries that receive the U.S.'s plastic waste mismanage 70% of their own plastic waste. It is outrageous that companies continue to manufacture single-use plastics, uh, dupe the public into thinking it is easily recyclable. This little uh, BS, little green washing, uh, bright green lie label. Yes. And replace cap. Okay, how to recycle dot info. There you go. This is from Walmart. This uh, single use plastic. <clears throat> I did not buy this at Walmart. Okay, guys, I found this big case of, uh, of uh, this Walmart single use plastic uh, when I got here. The woman who used to live here, you know, went through about 50 of these damn things a week. And uh, once I drink the water in there, I refill my plastic bottles. Okay, just so you know that I refill these from those, you know, I get the five gallon jug and refill them. Anyway. It is outrageous that companies continue to manufacture single-use plastics, dupe the public into thinking it is easily recyclable, and pass the buck to ocean-adjacent communities that are incapable of dealing with the crisis. So tackling the problem, yeah, all right. Scientists say we must do three things to stem the plastic tide. And I don't think sterilizing the human race is on the, uh, is on the list. There is one thing 
to do at this point to stem the plastic crisis. That is to sterilize the human race and have humans go extinct. But since uh, that one's not on the list, what are our choices? Okay. Choice number one would be to slow the ocean-bound waste plastic at the source. Choice number two, incentivize the collection and repurposing of ocean-bound waste plastic. And number three, help nations develop local recycling infrastructure. This, meaning any of these choices, will require a massive effort. Researchers warn we need to cut plastic production by at least 25 percent while increasing waste collection and management by 60 percent in order to make a dent in the problem. As governments drag their feet on developing a comprehensive global solution, individual people wonder how they might help. <clears throat> the scope of the problem can be paralyzing when one individual considers the fact that there is a 600,000 square mile garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean and millions of pounds of plastic still pouring into the ocean every year they are likely to freeze. Ah! Psychologist Carl White noticed when an individual feels a problem is overwhelming, they do nothing. There is a fix though. White found when one single person focuses on small wins. It is much easier to achieve success. So I embarked on an ocean <coughs> protection project that helps individuals create small wins that add up to big change for oceans. Uh, Anyway, then he, uh, he dives, he takes a deep dive into hopium-soaked apocaloptimism. Uh, talking about, okay, we're going to go ahead and do it as long as my battery is still running. So now, of course, we hear this absolutely after the reality of the scope of the problem. This is how you, and I guess I, can become an ocean hero. The first thing in becoming an ocean hero is to get yourself sterilized before having one child. So I did that. I got myself sterilized at age 22 uh, before I had uh, one child, so when I stopped dumping all of this shit into the ocean, I am an ocean hero because I never had a child. So, uh, but for those of you who slipped up, what did Kevin Shanholzer, uh, the father of one, that some people had children before they realized there was a problem. So if you were one of those people like Kevin Shanholzer who had children before he realized that having children was a problem, uh, this is, Kevin, you can still become an ocean hero, okay? You and your daughter, we can have two ocean heroes. All right. I created an eco-friendly, <laughs> an eco-friendly search engine called Ocean Hero that addresses the three things we must do to protect oceans now. It allows anyone to participate in slowing the ocean-bound plastic tide with small actions at no cost while they surf the web. Yes. 
Ocean Heroes unobtrusive advertisements fund ocean-bound plastic collection in impoverished nations. Uh huh. So far, Ocean Hero has paid for workers to recover and truly recycle more than 20 million ocean-bound plastic bottles. 20 million. Uh, I'm, what is the statistic of how many of these bottles are produced on the planet every second? Is it 100,000 per second? Anyway, <clears throat> while we work to pick up and repurpose plastic already polluting the earth, it is vital that we do not add more to the plastic waste heap. Yes. <clears throat> there are simple ways you can take to create small plastic waste reduction wins in your daily life. First, immediately eliminate single-use plastics from your routine. Buy products in sustainable packaging. Increasingly, brands are swapping plastic for paper or glass. When you buy these products, you are sending a message with your wallet. I was just uh, getting a warning from my buddy that, uh, you know, tequila is one of the few liquors that are still, you know, it's made in Mexico, that still come in glass bottles. And my buddy is hearing rumors that even tequila is uh, going to switch over from uh, glass to plastic, like, what, 90% now? Uh, good God, I'm seeing wine in plastic. Interestingly, we don't see beer in plastic that I'm aware of. I'm not sure why. Anyway, uh, secondly, when companies are not living up to your sustainability standards, let them know. You can call them out on social media, email their leadership, or when possible, try to talk to someone at the business in person. I found that businesses are receptive to consumers who complain about plastic packaging or single-use plastic elements. Oh yeah. <clears throat> like drops of water gathering to form oceans each small eco win you create <clears throat> gathers to form a wave of change in the plastic industry. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank you, uh, Marvin Berman. So, uh, for creating that eco friendly search engine and becoming an ocean hero. Not sure whether Marvin is a uh, is a breeder or not. Here is my little uh, my little child substitute. So how much plastic have you thrown into the ocean, uh, little dog, in your lifetime? Anyway, speaking of this, I've mentioned this <coughs> before. So down here last year. You know, we were running the hip camp here, and one of the people who came and stayed at the hip camp was the the fellow who works at uh, the big recycling center. That I, I'm not. I'm sorry. At not the not the recycling center. He works at the big landfill that takes recycling. Uh, supposedly, well, they take garbage. Uh, from the six county area here in central Florida at this giant landfill um, about 40 miles from here. And what he was telling me is that the very trucks that, that pick up the recycling from, from this place, from this street all over here, uh, uh, you know, all of the, the neighbors around here, they separate out their recycling into their little, uh, in, you know, into their little recycling buckets, 
and uh, send it off into these, you know, these pretty little green trucks. And they probably pay an extra fee for a recycling. So where do you think the trucks go? And I heard this directly from this dude. What happens is the recycling trucks from the six county area, they drive directly to the landfill, back up their recycling trucks to the landfill and dump all of this shit right into the landfill. Uh, while everyone here is going to all of this trouble separating their damn plastic, uh, thinking that uh, the, the single-use plastic bottles are going uh, are, are going in to uh, are somehow being recycled. It, it, it's a bunch of bullshit. It, it is a bright green lie. Uh, recycling is a joke. You know, good for them, you know, 20 million bottles, uh, good for them, 20 million bottles, hallelujah. Uh, I honestly don't know, I need to do my research, find out how many of these goddamn things uh, are produced every year. My guess is that there's 20 million of these things every day, I'm guessing no problem that there's 20 million of these produced every single day of the year. If not 50 million, or there will be in a few years, if not today. But anyway, I've got to wrap up today's uh, chronicle of the collapse on this gorgeous day. And uh, well, now this damn wind was kicking up, I was going to head back out and continue my attack on the water lilies but my canoe would be blown across the lake. So I don't know what I'm doing today. But anyway, I'm going to get out there and enjoy this spectacularly gorgeous day. And you're going to go get squirrelies like that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. There you go. Man, what a gorgeous day. Mm. Gotta love it. Bye, guys.